welcome to our home. That's right, we are finally going to be doing our room tours. We've been living here for a few months now. We wanted to make sure we almost had... Almost a year. Yeah, probably, yeah, almost a year. One month away from a year. But um, we wanted to make sure that we had everything ready for you guys, that we were able to decorate it the way we wanted and we got the right furniture for the place and everything like that so I think we're at a really good spot we still have a little bit more you know there's always something to do but uh, we're at a good spot that we wanted to show you guys so that's what we're doing today and to make it a little bit more interesting we're gonna have sort of like a, a game going on here we have a lot of Kirby's just kind of around the whole apartment so if you guys are into it we want you to count every single different Kirby that you see. If you see the same Kirby in multiple shots, those don't count. But every single different Kirby that you see, and anybody who gets the correct number will get a shout out in a future video. So without further ado, let's check out our rooms. So let's begin with our couch that is the main focal point of this room and where you guys see us film the majority of our hauls these days. Well I'd say it's debatable as being the focal point, I mean there's a TV in this room. I know but I think a lot of the times when you walk in the first thing you're going to see is our couch full of plushies I because, so. <laughs> because um, this is where we keep our plushies or some of our plushies it's sort of like an additional storage space for us when we aren't using it for company and such and you can also pull this couch out to make a bed for maximum plushie cuddles or you know if you want to have friends over or whatever you know whatever works for you but we did get it from Ikea so it's a really cool like day bed couch full bed kind of thing so if you're looking for something like that check out Ikea not sponsored we also have several bookcases in this room. Here, 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 and here. Over here we have our anime collection, which has slowed down a bit because of all of the streaming services we have now, but we still do occasionally add to our large collection. We can't list everything that we have here, otherwise we'd be here all day, but some of my favorites are our premium Love Live box sets from NIS America, and the movie we picked up at Mandarake while we were in Japan. We also have signed copies of Fairy Tale from Monica Rial and Cherami Lee, as well as our box set for Your Lie in April that we got at Anime Boston a couple of years ago. Well, you can't forget about my stuff. I have some Gundam. I guess we can talk about Gundam. I mean, I got like some used like Gundam, of course when this is before uh, Right Stuff got like to reprinting a lot of it and I've also got those amazing Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin Collector's Editions. They, they got like a storyboard like book in it and like just a nice case. Oh and if we're speaking about favorite animes, I can't forget to mention my Sailor Moon collection which I'm still trying to collect all of them from the original series. I don't have anything yet from Crystal, but because there's some nice box sets and they're like divided in one and two pieces, they are a bit expensive, so it's taking me a little while to collect them all, but as you can see, we do have quite a few already. Yeah, speaking of plushes, one of them managed to get onto the bookcase. It's Amelia! As you can see, I also have a cosplay hat that I made for my Maki cosplay. So we just kind of have random things thrown in and up at the top too we have some amiibos and a nice case and a couple figures and things like that. Over on our gaming shelves we have many games from the PS3, PS4, Switch, Wii, Wii U, as well as Xbox 360 games, PS2, and a few movies at the bottom. We have a slightly smaller bookcase for portable games such as 3DS, DS, Vita, and PSP. Plus a huge pile of games that fit absolutely nowhere right here on the floor. <laughs> Can't forget about all those special editions at the top. Yeah, we do have a lot of box sets and really cool items up there as well. Again, we have way too many games to list them all, 
but as far as current recommendations that I have, if you have a PS4 and you like survival horror games, I really recommend Resident Evil 2. Even if you have played it before, they did a great job at updating the graphics and gameplay, and it's just a really cool newer experience. They put puzzles in different places, and as I said, the graphics are a lot more gorier. It's just a lot scarier, so I really recommend that if you are into horror games or if you played the original Resident Evil 2, definitely check it out. However, if you're not into horror games, don't worry, I have a recommendation for you as long as you have a Switch. I would definitely recommend Yoshi's Crafted World. It's just an adorable platformer and plays very similar to Yoshi's Woolly World, with both of them take inspiration from Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island that was back on the SNES. All of them are really great games, so if you like cutesy platforming games, then I really recommend Yoshi's Crafted World. Alright, so this is our last bookcase, which holds some manga and other kinds of books, but most of the manga in this bookcase consists of all my case clothes. Which isn't anywhere near the whole collection of case clothes. We only have about 30 volumes, so we're definitely a bit behind. But we also have some art books here from video games and anime such as Love Live and Persona 4. And then Dan really enjoys cooking as well, so we have a few cookbooks. And one of them is called The Manga Cookbook, which is a nice recipe book for common Japanese foods featured in anime and manga. We've made the tonkatsu recipe quite a bit, and I can say it's very, very tasty. Of course. I mean, fried pork is always good. <laughs> You may have also noticed these Love Live binders. We use them to keep our shikishi boards, which are basically autographable art boards. Mine's clearly the better one. I don't think so. Mine has some really awesome Monica ones. Plus, I have Best Girl Maki in here, as well as an All Might one. Well, I disagree because mine has Best Girl Katori. I like how you emphasize that, thinking that would prove your point, but you're still wrong. No, not wrong, because I sound extremely confident. <laughs> and with that note, we also have a lot of decorations for this room. Like over on this wall, we have a couple of Love Live Sunshine clocks. Kanon tells the current time where we are here, and Mari tells the current time in Japan. However, because Japan is 13 hours ahead of us, on a regular analog clock like this, it looks like they're only an hour ahead. And on this wall, we got some floating shelves, which hold a bunch of Nentroid Petites and like Patankos and whatever small figures we got. So lots of cute little mini figures, and just to add some more color to the space, above those shelves we have some framed photo cards from English voice actor Jeremy Lee, who as you can see voices Lucy from Fairy Tale, Asuna from Sword Art Online, and Sailor Venus from Sailor Moon Crystal. So as you can see, we do have a, quite a few things signed by English voice actors, and that's just because like Japanese voice actors don't tend to come to the East Coast very much, or at least like Anime Boston and the smaller cons we go around here. But over here we can see all of our con badges and lanyards for the cons that we've gone to, and clearly we have not gone to enough cons, so we need to go to a lot more. And while this room has tons of anime and game decor, we also have this shelving unit above our entertainment system full of Nendroid boxes so it kind of adds to the decor but really we just needed a space to store a bunch of them and luckily for us these storage shelves were here when we moved I guess the landlord said that the old tenant used them for a closet because this room here doesn't have a closet and there was multiple people living here before so they had this as a bedroom I think but as you can see, it worked out perfectly for us to hold our Nendroids. You guys may have also noticed that we have a lot of wedding memorabilia around this room, like this rock. Why do we have a rock? Because it's our wedding rock. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it was a gift and it's supposed to bring us like good luck and a happy marriage and everything. So we have a wedding rock. 
but we also have some more traditional items as well like our cake topper here which is Totoro themed but it was still an, an awesome day we had a lot of fun and yeah, this is really good. But I think that is it for this room, so let's venture on to the next one. Our bedroom is pretty normal, but has our flare, though some walls do look a bit bare. This wall, though, isn't very bare, just because of our huge wall of plushies that are held up by the wire shelves that you might find at cons that hold up artists' wear and things like that. Many of these plushies were won through Turaba, but I've been a huge fan of plushies for years. I can remember like when I was younger, I would throw them all on my bed and just sleep in a pile of plushies. And then eventually my mom was like, no, you have too many. Let's, let's take a little bit of them away. And I'd be like, okay, well, I guess I don't have to sleep with this one. But then like I'd get new plushies and like the cycle would start all over again. However, these days we only keep a few on our bed and it's mostly when the bed is made because I have Dan to cuddle with now. Oh, you're just squishing me. You put me down. <laughs> you pulled me down. On the other side of our bed we have a few more video game systems and below that we have a little cozy cubby space I use to read or play on my phone while it charges as my cord is too short to reach the bed. But I've always liked cozy spaces and adding a few mochi plushies and a blanket is just what I need sometimes. We do have two dressers in here though as our closet is half filled with plushies and it's not really organized that well. But we do have like this basket of Snivies here and a couple imposters. <laughs> well, Snivies are our favorite Pokemon, but we do also really like other ones as well. And as you guys may have noticed that this is the only corner of the room that actually has any sort of wall art. We have this collage kind of piece here that lights up, which I think is really cute but it has pictures of our trip from Japan as well as some of our photo booth pictures from our wedding. And of course, we do have some more signed anime merchandise, specifically Your Lie in April. And with that, let's move on to the last room that you guys have probably all been waiting to see. So let's go check it out. So this room here, we really got to spread out and really display our figure collection. As you guys can see, we have three Detolfs here, which I'm so excited about because at our last place, we did not have any space to put up any Detolfs. So I'm really happy that we get to display a lot of our figures in this sort of really nice, clean looking way. However, it is rather dark in this room. There is no overhead lighting whatsoever, so please bear with us. We are trying to make it as bright as we can for you, but we can only do so much. But in true Nerd Den fashion, sunlight <laughs> is the enemy. <laughs> we gotta protect our girls. And as you can see on the left side over here, we have two Detolves completely full of Love Live and Love Live Sunshine figures. Over here on the right, on the very top one, we have our Alter Love Live Muse girls. We do only have five of them, sadly. They are some of the most expensive figures that we have. Not top, top expensive, but definitely there are some pricey figures. So we have five of the girls, but if we even had one more, they wouldn't be able to fit and we'd have to divide it between two different shelves. As you can see, they are pretty stuffed in there, but with some risers, I think we made it look okay. And then below that, we have our birthday girl collections. So Muse is with their Kira Kira Sensation outfits, and Accors has their Mirai Ticket outfits, so we have some of our favorite girls in there as well. And then below that, we have our Sunny Day Song collection. These are prize figures, but they're so cute. I love all their poses. They have lots of movement, and the 
colors of their outfits are just really bright and sunny so it's a nice collection so I wanted to start collecting those but as you can see once again we do not have the full set and then right below that we have just sort of a mix and match of just different Love Live and Love Live Sunshine Girls we have the one two jump figures for the second year girls right in the back there and then we have a whole bunch of prize figures and other random figures of course most of it being best girl Hanamaru I, I don't think that's the case but we'll move on I want to talk about the top where we do have some prize figures and love live clocks yeah, I always make a joke that this is going to become like a little clock shop one day because we just keep collecting all of these clocks. Anyways, on the left side, on the top shelf, we have a Nico and Maki Valentine's Day altar figure. It is very nice looking. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. I love, love, love this figure. Alter did such a good job. I highly recommend it to any Love Live fans. It's just a beautiful figure. And of course there is another figure behind them. It is the Kanon like swimsuit like she's like stripping it off figure. Oh my gosh it's her in a wetsuit. Stop making it dirty. She's just another gorgeous altar figure and I wish we had a riser. I'm gonna have to get some more so she can stand out more. Yeah well, and then the rest are just uh, price figures, you know, but they're still very nice looking. And right below them, we do have nine Muse and Nendroids all sitting on risers with Hanamaru and Kana right next to them on the same shelf. And just for the two shelves right below that are just a random assortment of Love Live prize figures. And then in our last detail, it's sort of like a work in progress. As you can see, it's more empty than the rest of them. But we do have Gattaca and Devil Homura up at the top there by Stronger and Aniplex. And then of course we have Good Smiles, Gattaca on our first shelf with a couple of Homuras in the background and some mini figures in there. And right below that we do have some figures from the Fate series. Which is probably the shelf that needs the most work. We're still collecting some of those and we'll probably have to add risers or something else in there just to make it a little bit more interesting because it's just a mismatch of like different Fate series all kind of rolled into one. Below that we have our Persona 5 collection. So we have Best Girl Futaba in both a scale and an android with a little nendroid Morgana as well. And then of course we have On and Joker in the back. And just to top it off, there is another Madoka shelf. Of course, right we, the very bottom. we have to get our dose of Madoka. So we have some good smile figures in the front, and then we have some of them in yukatas and kimonos. Of course, these are all of our best girls, so Madoka for me and Mommy for Dan. And then in the center of all of this, we do have our very last bookcase here with the majority of our manga collection. They are two manga deep, so what you can see, just double that. But we have a little bit of everything in here from Kamisama Kiss to Madoka and Sailor Moon, and of course we have some Gundam for Dan. So it's kind of a mishmash, and we don't have quite a large set like we do with the case closed ones. And I've just kind of thrown a bunch of little mini figures in there just because I don't know really where else to put them. And then up at the top we do have another case full of Vocaloid, Nendroid Petites, and a few other prize figures here from like Code Geass. We have some more Madoka ones, as well as a Mulan Cuposket, which is like the only Cuposket that we currently own. I have kind of a mess going on over here and, and one day Maybe we'll neaten it up, but this is what it currently looks like. So there's our bookcase. <laughs> this is my desk. It is not the cleanest desk ever, but it's got a lot of character in it. And characters. Uh, various ones, actually. Uh, you know, you got like a little bit of like Overwatch. You got like some Terminator. And you got a lot of this stuff. And this little... Playmobil, LA Kings goalie, LA Kings, definitely the best sports franchise of all time, not disputable. Uh, I do have other things up here, 
Uh, unfortunately, when we moved, my gun plot didn't really make it in one piece. Kind of upset about that. Move of silence. But, I mean, there are other things I decided to spruce up there with Gwendolyn. Of course, she's a very nice figure. And I have this because I like my things being clean. And over here is my desk, my little workspace. As you can see, it is cluttered with a lot of figures and pictures and things because I like to surround myself with things that make me happy. Up here we have all of my Pusheen vinyl collections that I've gotten throughout various Pusheen boxes, as well as some of my favorite pop figures. So I have Sailor Moon and Toothless and Light Fury. I also have like a special limited edition Golden Goku that I think I got out of a loot anime box. And then we have Best Girl from My Hero Academia Ochako and also Fluttershy from My Little Pony. The And then over on the side here I have several shelves that hold a whole bunch of just little cuteness. And then I also have the Super Famicom cartridge, Japanese version of course, for Yoshi's Island. As I mentioned earlier, it is a game that I really really enjoyed. So when we were in Japan, I knew I had to get it. And below that is my little Pokemon figure shelf. So I've gotten a few from the Remint boxes that I've opened up as well as just other little figures that we've collected through time. And then of course I have Futaba. Once again, I put her over here just because she is a light up version and she needs power, which we don't have any power going into the detail. So I thought I would keep her here if I wanted to light her up. But as you can see, currently right now what's plugged in is my Twice Candy Bong. And then behind all that is just sort of this collage board I have going. It came with the desk, which is really cool. So it's magnetic. So I put up this artwork that a friend makes for me. For the past four years, she has sent me these little creations she's made as little birthday cards. So yeah, this, this desk makes me super happy. It's just got so much cuteness and everything, and it has lots of storage too, where I have my like Twice and BTS albums and some other unsightly things to help it look a little bit cleaner. But that's, but that's my desk. And then on either sides of my desk, I do have some more decorations. So over here on the windowsill, I have like a little miniature garden going on and I kind of took that idea from Martina, from Simon and Martina or Eat Your Kimchi who are just wonderful YouTubers here on the platform. But I thought it was such a cute idea that I kind of wanted to start my own little garden. So it's nowhere near as full or glorious as Martina's, but everyone's got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> And then over on this side of my desk, I do have my little Dragon Ball collection. So as you can see, I do have quite a few of Vegeta because he's best boy for the series. And then I do have Goku and we got Goku Black uh, when we were visiting Japan. And then behind that, I have a random figure of launch that I was able to win on Tereba. So I've kind of just have this nice little corner with all of them. And then finally, I'm sure you guys have all noticed the wall art around this whole room. We do have several wall scrolls, many from Love Live, of course. We do have this one with all of the girls on it, but then around each of our desks, we have our best girls. So of course I have Maki and Kanan on my side. And I got Katori, Nico, and Hanamari. And then above our bookcase we have this beautiful Madoka one which has all of the five main girls in their magical girl outfit all just kind of taking a break, a rest around Gotika. We do have the gigantic Guilty Crown wall scroll featuring Inori. And then we have all of this fan art over here. These are some of my favorite pieces that we were able to pick up from cons, but of course this is not all of them. If you guys have seen our con hauls, you'll notice that we picked up so much more. And of course, it's just too much we couldn't fit on our walls. 
So we did get an art portfolio to just keep a lot of them safe and sound. And in there we have tons from like Love Live and Persona and Overwatch. And we also have other things like con flyers and shopping bags and things that we've collected. So we just have them all in there to keep them safe and sound. And we can take a look at them whenever we want. So as you can see, this room is jam-packed with all of our anime merchandise. But you might be wondering what's behind the curtain. And that is basically where we have to keep all of our other figures that we weren't able to put out for display plus some of the empty boxes that all of these figures belong to as well. But it's still a better situation than what we had at our old place. And now we've come full circle. We are back in our living room. As I said in the beginning, we worked really hard for lots of months to get this place to where we wanted it, where it reflected us and it was also comfy and inviting. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye Peekaboos!